I'm here, quite a large field, following the signs of the coastal path, trying to find the river, and I think I'm going to have to like double back on myself because I, the signs just seem to disappear. I've got a black dog with me, called Eddie, and uh, well I did have a, a juicy pear in my pocket, but that's gone. And I'm at my feet are soaking, as was well as the morning dew and the rain of the night. And um, I was pick some blackberries, I suppose. Yeah. Still here in the bushes in sort of, oh, it's November the 1st. Yeah. But the, the devil is in them, they say. Ah. Uh. My feet are even wetter. Got stuck in a bit of a marsh there. Yeah, it's, a, it's the site of Rida Gorse. I think uh, it was a Norman castle back in the day. Now it's uh, Trinity College, University of Wales, Trinity St. David's. They've got a mountain bike track here. Oh, a, and a willow. I don't know, what's the willow thing all about? It looks like a storytelling type uh, location. Circles and old tree trunks on the floor. For people to sit that on. A bit of a throne as well. Who knows, eh? I think it's the site of um, Buffalo Bill's circus back in the early 20th century. and. He would have had all the teepees would have come here and herds of buffalo and amazing when you think about it. He would have had uh, yeah cowboys chasing off the <laughs> the red Indians. Ah, the path signs are here again. <laughs> There's about six signs all of a sudden. You know, just one would do. Kissing gate. And here we are. Rugby fields now. Rugby fields of the old Astrid Towie. Long, wet grass. Again. I'm heading for a another sign now in the corner of a football pitch. Quite nicely cut lawn as well. Is this the one that's going to let me get down to the river? Uh, no. Not at all. Anyway, onward. Right, I can see the river. Which way do I go? I don't think I'll follow the path. I think I'll go down here. A road, much less travelled, eh? <laughs> Ooh, the river's looking good. Well, it's uh, standing out about up at seven. It's now 20 to eight. Means I've got an hour and a quarter to get back, back to the house to watch the bronze, what do they call it? The bronze final between New Zealand, New Zealand All Blacks and uh, the Welsh Dragons. We're on the river bank now. Eddie must have bad stomach or something. He's eating the grass and oh, what's he found now? Some fox mess or something. He's rubbing himself in it. Now he's eating more grass. Oh, and then I'm sure it was a cormorant that flew out from the reeds, flapped away across to the other side. And on this bend, Ah, the river is shimmering. Wow. Shimmering on the other bank. On this side, it's slower. Moving slower. Wow, it's beautiful here. Yeah. Hey, 
Eddie's getting a bit spooked at the moment. I don't know why. Whether it's the the logs in the in the river floating by or the birds across the river. But go on, Ed. He's he, he's desperate to get in the river. Come on, away now. Good boy. I've seen big. Come on, come on. Leave the logs alone. <gasps> Ooh. Something's spooking him down here. Come on, come on. He's been in. He's had a bit of a swim, but I don't know the currents and got him out. He's not a big water dog in any case. Well, I've loved coming down here. I've seen some ducks flying in, cormoran flying out of the reeds. Ah, I can see a heron up there now. Oh. Walking down, I suppose, to the flood the plain. Huge bends in the river. And I know when the, when the floods come, this is absolutely, it's covered in water in the river. But it's very serene this morning. I'm loving it. I'm actually going to double back now, so where I made that decision earlier to go on the less travelled road, I'm actually going to go back to it. Never mind. Eddie's deciding not to take the bridge, the footpath. He's going across uh, the stream. Oh, look at that tree. Wow. How old is that, huh? What has that seen over the years, huh? Another kissing gate. Up that. I'm through. Ooh. Decisions to be made again. I think I'll go off piste one more time. There's some sort of wall and sort of track that leads down to the river. Hmm. I wonder if this could have been like a dock-in point hundreds of years ago. Don't know what for. Up to Rita Goss Castle, maybe. It's great having a dog with you. He's like finding different paths and different ways through, through um, the, the little wood here that, that, that I wouldn't even think of. Oh, it's a bloody climb now. Oh, my knees aren't what they used to be. Where are we going now? Walking away from the river now. We'll get back on it in a couple of minutes. Well, the dog is absolutely loving it. We're walking across a bit of a boggy marsh here, and <laughs> he's going mental. There we are. We're heading for the for the river again. Come off the beaten track and uh, see what we see now. We see a seagull sort of drifting in the wind and a flap here and there and a squawk. Cause, oh, there's ducks. Has Eddie seen them? When I was, well, I'm back on an old, um, well, it's not old path, but no, um, it's, it's tarmacked. And we're about 100 yards from the river but I think it's going to be too boggy and the tributaries are all really full I mean the tide, it's early morning tide but I always remember this path as a, as a tow path I always envisaged people meeting the big ships down the river and I'm just being towed up to the main key part of town and I remember when I used to live in the middle of town this was my sort of evening run along the towpath but it's now been made all not not pretty but safe with tarmac and it still gets flooded built up a bit and um yeah i can imagine 100 years ago coracle men 
walking this towpath, trudging, trudging through the night with their catch on their back and their in their ass death or lice. Where's Eddie gone now? I've only just realised that the, uh, the tide is still coming in. You can see it's like picked up pace. I know this is a, a straight piece of river, but uh, you can see it's not the shimmering anymore. It's, it's starting to really push in. Little, little, what do you say? Well, waves, I suppose, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, it's driving up the river, it is. I've just seen a cormorant flying down the river. Oh, what a sight. I wonder if I'll ever see the curlew this morning. That's what I want to see. Locally, they're, um, well, in, in Coracle myth, they talk of the curlew as being the god of wisdom, the god that will judge you. And strangely enough, I was talking to a friend last last week, and and he said, "Ah, oh, you mean like with the down curved bill, very much like um, the Egyptian uh, ibis? Is that how you pronounce it, or ibis? I don't know." And uh, and the fact that he's the god of wisdom in the Egyptian uh, culture, and they are a um, a god-like character who had the head of of an ibis, of a curl with a downturned beak and the body of a man. You know, very important god in Egyptian culture. But how did it get to come out then? And the River Tawi? Well, I'm, I'm approaching what I used to call uh, the White Bridge. It's actually grey at the moment. It's a, they call a Bascule Bridge. The roller would, would raise up and um, go on and um, allow the bigger bigger ships to go in. Go on, here's, here's a landing point for one of the coracles. This is where they get out after doing a turn. And look at that, the river looks so strong and so powerful. There it is, and I can imagine coracling as a young boy under this bridge and all the shadows that it would throw out and oh, yeah as a young boy you'd be scared come through the gate but he didn't I can see up in the river now and it's getting brighter as the morning is getting into full light and I can see different things in the river something's bobbing its head over there is it a log or is it some small bird Eddie's going in the river again and there must be about 30 gulls just sitting on the river there floating about minding their own business It's 20 to 9. I've got 20 minutes. Mm. Here we are. Always catch up. Now I'm looking at the river and I'm thinking it's on the turn. I don't know where I am. Am I walking against the flow of the river? Is it on its way out? Or am I going with it? Tell me, buddies. Because I don't know. Well, we're not far away from the town centre now, and you see there's a road bridge and um, bypassing the town centre. And we're on the final stretch, really. 
can see ahead of me what they call the key centre, which is a bit of a community hub. And um, supposedly going to be knocked down quite soon. The, the planning department have, uh, have decided to make more offices on the waterfront. It gets flooded all the time, but uh, they must know what they're doing. And whether we need more offices in Carmarthen Town is a, a matter of debate. Because it's uh, quite a quite a useful community hub. Lots of clubs and societies and the Carmarthen Watership, uh, Carmarthen Water, Water Safety Project being based there. So important. But you are. Well, looks like Eddie's had enough. I've had enough. And we're going to get back in time for the game and uh, coffee and croissants, maybe. Who knows, eh? Huh?